pretty sure you own this, and if not, I definitely do. All right. What else? Um, if you're stumbling upon this podcast out of context, uh, we release new content each week. <clears throat> Always with a fresh uh, movie focus. We do pop culture news, weekly recommendations, and basically kind of shoot the shit with each other on the on the podcast. Um, what else? We are on all major podcast platforms, whether it be Spotify, uh, Stitcher, Spreaker, Sodes, um, YouTube, tons and tons. If they're even third party uh, apps, so. If it plays a podcast, we're probably there. So check us out. Give us, um, you know, that five star rating, or uh, if you have a couple more extra seconds, a nice little review. If you like what we're doing, if not, let us know what we can do differently to uh, help you enjoy the show a little better, Mm -hmm. I suppose. But hopefully, that's not the case. as per usual, thank you all for listening. Thank you, Chris, for joining me. Thank you for having me on, as always. It was a lot of fun, even though we got uh, started a little later than planned. But I think we have we did a good show. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. I always like coming and doing the show. It's so much better doing it in person after all those times we did it over the phone last year. Yeah, yeah. We got stuck uh, doing it... Um, at least in the in the midst of the early in the pandemic, mm-hmm. got so used to doing it on the phone. But it's a definitely a very different thing, um, it's a very different beast to, to do it in person, and a lot more fun and engaging. And you know, you see, you can actually see the other person and their mannerisms mm-hmm. and stuff, and reading them and etc. But yeah, so thank you for making that effort and. Uh, Helping me knock out a show, man. Absolutely. By the way, one last thing I have that I forgot. We talked about it before again. We talked about it to think about all this stuff on when we did the Tarantino shows way back when. It does get a name check in Jackie Brown in the beginning of Jackie Brown. That's right. That's right. Unfortunately, Ordell is talking about the killer having two forty fives, but it's the he doesn't carry forty fives. He see. carries Berettas. Just saying. <laughs> but but do it, does, th- it does get the name check. Do you think that it was written intentionally to be wrong or just uh, r- wrong? There is a theory that uh, when Melanie is talking to Lewis and she says that, you know, Ordell doesn't really know a whole lot. He's just repeating shit that he heard. Mm-hmm. There's a theory that Ordell doesn't really know the killer. He's just repeating shit that he heard. Oh, okay. But yeah, the killer, this, especially uh, Chai and Fat, he doesn't carry 45s in this. He uses Berettas. <laughs> but I do want to shout it out because it gets a name check. It gets a name check in one, of, in one of my favorite films in the beginning of Jackie Brown. I remember watching that in the theater when that movie came out. And then when, he, when Ordell name checks the, the killer, we're like, yes! Because Tarantino obviously is a big fan of John Woo. It's a great, uh, great way to end this the well, show. And piece of trivia for you. Yeah. Watch Jackie Brown. Watch Jackie Brown. I just rewatched it again the other day. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Lou is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. I guess we'll get out of here. Yeah. We'll say uh, until next week with a. What's going to turn out to be a surprise uh, main focus? We'll say good fight and good night. And go watch Northman. Oh, yeah. Like I said, support local cinema. Absolutely. Always. Support your movie theaters. <laughs>